So I wanted to give you guys a quick indication of where the future is going in terms of the web and video, and that's towards HTML5. And if you haven't heard, Safari 4, Firefox 3.5, and iPhone 3.0 all now support HTML5. That's right, it means you can actually get video on your iPhone. So let's take a look at how to take this in, in action. So I have a page here that is just a, a, a Flash video. It does have an interface on it, so that's why I don't think Flash will kill, or HTML5 will kill Flash because of interfaces. But let's just say this is just a normal movie file that I have, just playing movies on my, on my site with Flash because that's how I do it. So we pull up the source of the flash file and I'm not going to go over the source because you should already know how to embed flash and if you don't maybe I'll do that tutorial later but here's here's my flash script right here this is what plays my flash movie okay so what I want to do is actually convert it into an HTML5 so all we have to do is we'll type in the video tag video width equals and I'll match the width of my other video 720 by height 450 and then we just have to say controls, and these are just attributes, you can look these up, equals controls, which means I want the controls there, and we're going to turn autoplay equal to true. Uh, you may turn this off, but for now I'll do it true. Then I'll set the source tag, source equals, and install, which is the name of this movie that normally plays, dot mp4, very important here, mp4, and type equals quote, video slash mp4 quote and end the bracket okay now notice we didn't end the video tag and that's because we're actually wrapping the video tag around the flash html5 video tag is built for downgrading so if your browser supports html5 it will play it if it does not then it won't play it okay then it will play what's inside so then we have to actually close the video tag, again, wrapping it, slash video. Okay? And we'll save that, and then refresh our browser, and because we're using Safari 4, and let me turn this down, you've now got HTML5 in here. And if you take a look at the iPhone, you can see right now that it is showing Flash can't be displayed. Okay? And if we refresh the page, you can now see that I can play the movie and I'll go ahead and play the movie for a second and you can see how I'm able to now play a movie on my iPhone that was originally in Flash and again on browsers that don't support HTML5 older browsers and IE it'll play the Flash which is great so now we've covered all grounds one thing to keep in mind you have to convert your videos if they're an MOV it has to be uh, MP4 so if we take a look uh, we'll pull up the uh, videos that I have here and all mine are in MOV so I'll have to convert them to MP4 so we'll take this install, we'll go ahead and delete that for now I'll open it up with QuickTime and because I have QuickTime Pro I can actually export and I can actually change the format so let's take a look at this so I'm gonna do movie to MPEG4 which is what I want we'll go into options if we leave it as the normal options which are uh, let's see here most recent set default and we look in the options here it's setting things to 352 and improved and it's really bad quality so we're gonna go ahead and change this to uh, to where we go change this file format to normal mp4 and change the format to h264 and then change the size to custom and that's going to automatically fill in the movie size and that's all the customizations we're going to make and that that will actually make the movie playable in mp4 and keep it high quality so we'll hit ok and then we'll hit save and that'll then go ahead and export that uh, mov file into a playable mp4 file and any MP4 will actually work, but if we want this to work on the iPhone, we actually have to do these kind of settings. So we'll go ahead and let this finish. Okay, once that's done, uh, it'll actually throw that file back on here, and we can preview it with Quick Look to see. Okay, quality's fine, and actually we refresh the page. I know we've already seen it, but here it is again in uh, MP4 file. So now you can play movies that could be in Flash but now they'll actually play on your iPhone.